Taurus, welcome to your reading. I hope this message finds you while you're in good health and good wealth. I hope you're doing something that you love today, tonight, this afternoon. Whenever this message finds you, simply because you deserve to. Taurus, thank you for all the likes, comments, subscribes, donations to my channel. They truly mean the world to me if you would like a private reading. More information about that will be in my About tab on my page. And if you would like to follow me on Instagram, the link will be in the description box below. Taurus, today we're going to be doing a general reading for you. And we'll see what spirit has for you. We have the Five of Pentacles on the split, Tower on the bottom. Major changes are happening in regards to potentially something in your financial um, world, right? The way that you make money or how you see money, how you view money. But also, you could just be walking away from a situation that was really depleting you of your um, well-being, right? Mentally, physically, or all of the above. I feel like this is something that you cared about deeply and it's not something that you wanted to have to walk away from, but it is something that needed to fall away for your best interest or for your highest good. Overall energy for my Taurus placement. Spirit for any and all messages channeled through me. All right, let's begin. Taurus. Overall energy, five of cups. Definitely letting something go. Definitely walking away from something. You were very emotionally invested in this thing. Your emotions could be running high lately, Taurus. You could be very... Um, just deep in thought, deep in feelings very very you're feeling everything on like a heightened level or on just on a more prevalent level i would say and with death in reverse like i said this is something you didn't necessarily want to let go of you know but there was just too much conflict for you to continue to put yourself in that environment certain people were not growing and changing how they needed to in order for the relationship or connection to continue to prosper so you had to you had to walk away for your highest good Taurus. All right, three cards for Taurus. Eight of Cups, first card out. The Nine of Swords. One more. The Two of Pentacles in reverse. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, could be dealing with a Gemini, could be dealing with a Pisces, maybe a Scorpio. Bottom of the deck, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Could be dealing with a Virgo. The Lovers in reverse, Five of Pentacles again, and the Sun. Like I said, you had to do this for your highest good, for your happiness. There was a situation you were in, Taurus, for a while that they just made you feel insecure or they made you feel unseen or unheard. You know, they made you feel like you were not emotionally respected or cared for in the ways that you were um, reciprocating that energy back to them. Right. Like you cared for them, but they, nece they didn't necessarily have the same type of external love for you. They could have told you a lot of things, but their actions spoke different than their words. And I feel like you're on this path of uh, seeking your happiness, um, putting your happiness first, you know, trying to allow yourself to let certain things fall away, allow yourself to walk away from certain situations that were not serving you or did not have your best interest at heart. Even if you did have a lot of love for them, you were also in recognition, Taurus, that this same type of love was the same thing that was making you feel sort of empty inside or just sort of it's like it was harder to appreciate yourself because when you found yourself interacting with their energy it's like they brought all of your insecurities out of you instead of instead of like comforting you they would do things to target your insecurities or make you feel like bad for being yourself in some way shape or form or like I don't know but I do see you walking away and I see you in this period of grieving you know something that you once had a lot of care or love for but you made this decision for your 
highest good spirit led you out of this situation for a reason and i see a lot of transformation happening clarify the five of cups the six of cups yeah you're thinking about the past in deep thought the sun in reverse the two of pentacles for a long time you could not make up your mind this for a long time you were sitting in indecision right putting up with someone or something that you knew was not emotionally fulfilling to you but putting up with them because you had a lot of history with them or a lot of love for them or the situation at hand but now with this two of pentacles in reverse it tells me you made the choice you needed to make and that's what has your overall energy is the five of cups clarified by the six of cups you're grieving something from your past a soulmate connection or just somebody that made you feel you were just very connected to you know you shared a lot of great times with this person there was a lot of love there but that doesn't just because there's a lot of love once upon a time doesn't mean there always will be and i feel you coming into this period of acceptance in regards to what it is now with this eight of cups being your first card out you're walking away you know seeking more personal fulfillment something that's going to make you happy instead of sacrificing your own happiness in order to be a part of something that once made you happy. Clarify the Eight of Cups. The Ten of Pentacles. Walking towards something far better. One more. The World in Reverse. Yeah. Knight of Cups in Reverse. This was very difficult for you to walk away from, Taurus. Right? Judgment. To make a decision on. This was very difficult for you to come to terms with. Because of how you've invested your energies, especially being a Taurus, it takes it takes a lot to make a Taurus walk away. It really does. Because Tauruses are so loyal and they're so invested in, invested in, they're so invested in where they put their energy. You had high hopes for this be, or it was just a friendship or connection that you really believe would always be a part of your life, but you're also in full awareness of what the present is for you and how that situation made you feel. So although you know you have to walk away, that doesn't mean you are comfortable walking away. So I just see you in this period of acceptance again, like knowing that there's better out there for you, but also knowing that almost feeling like you wasted your time to some degree, like you invested, like what was the point, you know? But I do see you done with the cycle, but I feel like um, emotionally, you're still very in that place. It's like on your mind, you're thinking about it a lot. In the physical, like externally, you might be perceived to be fine or moving on or doing something else, putting your energy elsewhere, but internally, you think about it a lot emotionally. At least you're, you know, it's, a, it's affected you emotionally to a big degree, full and reverse. You're walking a new path, but are you embracing the new path? I don't know. Clarify the Nine of Swords. Ten of Wands. Temperance in reverse. Sagittarian energy, both right there. Both have Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio, Capricorn. Five of Cups in reverse. It's like you're holding on to something that is... <laughs> mm, this is a tough one, Taurus, because I've, I've been there. <laughs> I've been there. It's like you felt so wronged or so played or so disappointed by something it's not that you want to hold on to those thoughts or those ideas or those memories. It's that you don't know how to, I think it comes down to forgiveness, you know, forgiving yourself. You don't know how to forgive waste, investing that much of yourself into something or someone that left you feeling so disappointed or imbalanced or wronged, you know. I feel like you're trying to reinvest all of this energy or this grief sadness i feel like you're trying to reinvest that into yourself in a positive way but i do see you holding on to a lot of stress or burdens from cycles that have completed from cycles that are they're no longer in your life or a part of it i see you trying to heal but i see you it's like you're you're holding on to things that are making the healing a lot harder you know a lot more difficult 
I think it comes down to forgiving yourself, you know, letting these walls down. I feel like you're very guarded. I feel like the past hurts you. You are healing with the Three of Swords, but with the Four of Pentacles, I feel like you are... It's like you don't even want to open up to anything else or anyone else. You don't want to... It's hard for you to. Mm. You have a lot of love for the past, but you also know it's gone. And so you're trying to grieve it and move on, but you just feel so disappointed or like wronged by it. Clarify the Two of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. This is what I like to see though. Making the decision to focus on yourself. Hermit on the bottom, Nine of Pentacles. You really could have been dealing with a Virgo, but I just see you finally in a place where you're you're not having one foot in one foot out you know you're finally like you've made up your mind that you are going to focus on you and you're going to be great at it you're going to heal yourself you're going to prosper at it you know you're going to leave the past where it belongs and you're going to um, reinvest all of that sadness or that energy that you were feeling into yourself and you're going to be great at it you know I just see you in this like very like self-reflective, self-enlightened type of energy. One more. Four cups. One more. Eight of cups. I, this is the point in the journey where you let yourself walk away emotionally. It's almost like you have forgiven yourself. You become enlightened to some truth about you or the situation that was at hand. And you're no longer allowing their energy to have any type of hold over you on an emotional level. Because I see you already removed from this situation. I just see the emotional stagnation that was at this point. Like I see you letting that go because you became enlightened to something about yourself or the situation at large. Clarify the Six of Cups. The Fool, yeah. Something, it's time for something new, and you know that. You're walking that path. You're just going through the motions, you know? And I see a great progression throughout this reading. Walking away, ha having to deal with the emotions that come with walking away from something you once loved or invested a lot of yourself into, and then making the decision to get out of that why me type of party. Like, you're, you're more so moving into, you're leaving the why me and moving into the like, I'm glad that was me. I'm glad that that, that ended. I'm glad I walked away from that. Because you knew it wasn't serving you. You were just so invested. And being a Taurus, it can be hard for you to walk away from things that you invest in. <laughs> so it makes sense. Claire, uh, what do you want Taurus to be aware of? Fair woman dealings or relationship with a... Woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. Could be a friend, family member, lover. We also have a butterfly. A change for the better. Absolutely. Absolutely, Taurus. We also have fire. Could we deal with fire sign? Strong emotion, passionate, love, or hate. I think you'll go through the progression of both of those. <laughs> what once was love will turn into the opposite. We also have cat, a two-faced friend carriage a journey either physical or mental potentially both for you Taurus and pay attention to your work yeah don't let this pull you out of your priorities and responsibilities don't let all of these changes and shifts in regards to your friends lovers the just the people you surround yourself with don't let the emotional heaviness that comes with that pull you out of reality right Last one, problems to be resolved. I like that, camel. Persevere and you will overcome problems. Yeah, you're getting through all of this. Like I said, you're allowing yourself to let go and walk away. It's just a journey, you know? You gotta go through the motions. You gotta feel what you gotta feel in order to heal. And I see you doing that. There is a period of struggle, but like these cards are saying, what Spirit wants you to be aware of, you will overcome the struggle and you will prosper. And, um, you will come out on the other side of this um, in gratitude that you had to go through this, Taurus. So that was...